Hi, and welcome back to the Lock Around the Clock for week number nine. And yes, hopefully everybody on the East Coast, uh, specifically my Jersey peeps, are doing fine. If you're watching this video, you're probably doing okay. Uh, please, if you can make it an effort to help the uh, Red Cross or anyone out there that needs help at this time. The storm was devastating. We were without power here for five days. Uh, as you can see, I'm really shaving. I've done my hunter-gatherer look, uh, going making runs to Food Town and Wegmans, uh, uh, shuffling ice back and forth. It's crazy. It was nuts. But power's back on. And you'd be surprised how hygiene just completely goes out the window. I mean, you could wear pajamas for six, seven days out of those five days that we didn't have power uh, and just think nothing of it. Anyway, let's get back to the football, what you came here for. Let's enjoy this weekend if you have power on. Uh, and hopefully if you can't, uh, you, you're somewhere where you can uh, be sharing some power and some television, some football and some entertainment to take your mind off of things this weekend. Let's start with the picks. But first, let's start with our friends at LewDogs.com. Go to LewDogs.com today. Find out whether the hottest handicapping site on the web. Check out their free rolls and free bets. That's what we need this time and day. Uh, go to LewDogs.com. Check it out before the weekend. Now getting into the picks, our 1 o'clock lock, we have Denver going to Cincinnati. Uh, Cincinnati coming off a bye. I know they haven't looked like Cincinnati like we expected, but look for A.J. Green, Gresham. Uh, look for these guys to really come alive in this game and be up for it. Denver has been able to let good, decent quarterbacks put up yardage and look for some scoring. Uh, the total in this game is 48. We're looking to go well over the mark. Last year's game was a, uh, a shootout back and forth to the end, 24-22, Denver over uh, Cincinnati, and that was with Kyle Orton at the helm. And... Um, a team in Cincinnati that was just kind of finding themselves early in the season. Uh, now they have Peyton Manning, and yes, Cincinnati can let up some points. Let's see this game go well over the 48 mark. That's your 1 o'clock lock. 4 o'clock, we have Minnesota at, uh, going off to the great uh, Pacific Northwest to face Seattle uh, in a game that should be marred with uh, storm and weather conditions out there. Uh, rain, as always. Uh, with two quarterbacks in Ponder and Wilson that really can't get out of their way. They make one or two big plays during the, the, the game, uh, maybe completing half of their passes. And I'm talking about 20 to 24 attempts. Both of these teams rely heavily on their run game. Only thing is Seattle has the better defense here. They will be at home. They'll have the 12th man. And we know what Seattle does to teams when they go out there. The total in this game is 38 and a half. Uh, go with the under. I don't see this game being more than like a, who knows, like a 12 10 game, one of those kind of situations. A lot of turnovers, uh, a lot of stoppages, more stoppages and turnovers and, and things than you can imagine, which will hold this game well under the mark. Uh, take the under in the uh, Minnesota Seattle game, 38 and a half. That's the four o'clock lock. On to the eight o'clock, we're going to go right into Atlanta. Atlanta in the dome against the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, this game is going to be a total game. We're going to go over the mark, and I'm going to tell you why. It's 47 and a half, and this is going to go well over. Look for the Falcons to get up big in the first half. of this. I'll tell you exactly how the game is going to play out. Falcons will get up big early in the first half. Uh, and then, as always, Tony Romo will find a way to put up garbage time production, which is why he's a great – he's America's fantasy quarterback. We love Romo. Look for him to get it done in the second half late. Uh, look for the total to go well over the 47 and a half mark. Look for like a 35, uh, 20 game, 21 game, and that total to go over as well. So there's your one, four, eight o'clock locks. They're all totals this week, and what we're going to total is three and zero oh against the book this week. Again, as we are going to keep our percentage well into the 70 percent mark, uh, going three and zero oh this week. Also, follow me now that I got power and 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 cell phone use again. On Twitter at GinoT32, I always post up odds and ends and games in between that aren't on the lock around the clock, so always check it out. And as always, take it to the book, take it to the bank, and you take it easy. <laughs>